Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the match this evening. I'm going to be your host, Kamaka, and this is going to be Lake Gang versus Chaos. This is the very first game of the season, ladies and gentlemen, in season 44 of ESEA Main Division. So, with that, we yeah. are going to be starting things off between Lake Gang and Chaos. Chaos is going to be starting things off on the attacking side, and so we'll see what they can get done here. Trying to go for B first. Attacker is going to have, in my opinion, a little bit of an advantage coming in here on the attacking side because... With pistols, it's very hard to defend against like a five-man rush. So, Lich Gang are going to be quite divided in that aspect and are going to have a hard time like 2v3-ing, 2v5-ing, excuse me, on any of these bomb sites. You know, looking for his first little kill here, and he's going to force one off the angle. Zen Lover in this little corner. The substitute looking to be a super sub for his team tonight is going to be right behind one, and there he goes, taking down one, but instantly falls now himself. And so... Puts it down on a Chiquazi, Coda, and Ice. Ice with a solid little shot coming in here, getting a number on the board for his team. But Chaos is starting to get good control of the bomb site, so much so that they can go for this plant. Although the exit route is not fully on lockdown, turning the corner does manage to take down Quazy. Ice. Gonna have to go back in for the bomb site retake with his teammate. Can't seem to quite hit these shots. He's got plenty of people to go up against him now. It's gonna be a hard position from the BN. Tries to dodge the stun, but can't quite do it. Chaos, though, they're giving him a lot of respect, probably because they know how good of a caster he is. But we will see. So he got one kill in the round, looking to divide them on angles off of each other, but yeah, nothing really to be done there. Lake Gang actually going to look to take it to their opponents. Oh my god, what a nade throw coming out here. And that is a slaughter on mass off rip. That did not go well for Lake Gang at all, my friends. Going to try and get a little bit of headshots going on here. Zen Lover, but nothing happening. It might be an easy time for Chaos, although I have seen teams do great on the T side of the map, only to struggle immensely on the, T on the CT side of the map. So we'll see if that can stay the same. And Lake Gang are going to have a full buy up here for the first time this game. Good shots coming out from Twigs. And Ice with a good flash, he's gonna get flashed off himself, but still gonna be saved by the smoke. Notice there's a guy in the bomb site taking down one, trying to spray transfer, but can't quite get it done. And so, 3v2 situation at JMO, with very low health, looking to turn around the corner. Teammate calling out the shots, and just across, oh, almost really good there for Zen Lover, but could not quite get it down. Ooh, good stuff coming out from Quazy, does take down one, but little does he know that purple is standing right behind him. So very calmly, very coolly. Finding Quazy on an off angle and finding Zen on another. Kino just massacring both those players on an individual basis. And so, yeah, Lake Gang gonna have to rotate now. We've got Main Man Ice, the Ice Man over here, is going to be joined by Twigs, who is gonna be going on the hop up angle, which they do pre Molly off before he can even get on it. What they're going to do instead is go for a little bit of a boost, but right into the sights of Wildflower. Yeah. Lake Gang, they really need to address this economy sooner rather than later. They need to win a round really soon, just for economic sakes. But, ooh, on this round, it's probably not going to be likely. Especially because they lose two players, but also because they're on a save round themselves. All alone is going to be Quazy. Doing some good shots, though, taking down Kino. JMO going to be really close to him with this 5-7. We'll see if he can get some tap fires down pat. Teammate's going to be looking to give him some assistance where assistance is needed here. Good shots. Oh my god, this guy is nasty with it, Quazy. And so, shot does eventually ring out from the side of Wildflower, and it, they do eventually find Quazy, who is... The main man with the pistol himself, Coda, has got an AK and it's going to break around the back. Oh my god. Just as I said, it's the round that they're unlikely to win. Joe Coda, he's 1v1 with Wildflower with the op. He's not moving. Not moving a muscle until he hears some footsteps. He's got so much to lose. Just needs to get hit once literally anywhere on the body and he's toast. And so he goes in solid quick scope coming in from Wildflower. One of them. Positioning now seriously in the favor of Chaos. However, they do still have this opera in Twigs. We'll see what he can get done with it. Wow, Flower. He's been a really solid opera in return. He's going to be on a really great angle here. And there he goes once again. Absolutely sniping the living daylights out of him. Coming in around the corner. It's a 3k in the round for Wild Flower. Cool to be down here. Taking such a long, slow route. I just don't. I just don't know. We will see. Either way, Lake King has not moved too much from their original positions, which is a good thing. And so because they were able to rotate through the middle of the map, they were able to go instantaneously back to their original sites when no other intel was had. So good position to be had. Quazy does get one for the price of his own life. Again, Wildflower is the one you have to be looking out for. And here we go again. Trying to nade that guy off of the boost area. And so turn the corner. Zen Lover does lose his life as well. 
Molly out on Dakota. His life is basically forfeit at this point. Gonna just try and get Ice a kill here. In they go. Ice coming in with the flash. Trying to land it onto Lucian. At least gets him off the angle. And in he goes. Trying to beat Lucian in a 1v1 as time is running thin. And it looks like Lucian is gonna see this one coming. Evade him and come at him from a different than expected angle. Well played again from Lucian. 3k in the round. And the other... Molly himself in, and oh my god, Kino just cannot seem to find him. Coming back in from the other side is going to be Quazy, but Purple has gone with an amazing flank. I don't think Quazy is going to be realizing this. He's pinched between two players right now. JMO on one side, Purple on the other. One does go down, hopefully. <coughs> Purple can get the trade-out kill, but it doesn't look like he's going to be looking to do that. Seeing the time on the board and seeing how many players are alive, thinking that the round is slowly escaping them. So I do like the fact that he's being conscientious of the fact that he might not win this round, maybe going for a save. He's, he might not be, though. And so he might be just trying to 1v5 these guys. Oh my god, and when you can do that, there's no reason not to. Looking for another one on the Quazy, looking for the 1v3 here the, for the 4k. Purple going in and seeing if he can find Zen Lover. Bomb is down, and all Zen Lover has to do is wait from the plant, or he could try and catch him while he goes for it, but unfortunately, Purple is ready for it, and he's going to be securing that round with the 4k as well. Mauling down pretty nicely. Oh, missing the snapshot, but hitting the no-scope. Nice one from Twigs, but they're pre-firing living daylights out of him, and he's got two HP left. He's gonna fall now as well. It's all on Zen Lover. Around the corner is gonna be an opponent, which he does take care of, but he's gonna have to get the 4K to get the win in this one. And me coming around the side, and it's looking like Purple's gonna have an easy shot to the back. Twigs and the guys, they're gonna buy what they can and go straight on in. Twigs, he's so close to these guys, but he doesn't realize it, unfortunately. Kino gonna be able to get the better of him, and Quazy on the retreat well and truly here. So. In the meantime, Wildflower and the guys, seeing if they can find anyone on the opposite end of the map. But nothing really to be found. JMO waiting for the flank. Ice has been doing this quite a lot, and so at this point, JMO, he's predicting it. He's gonna catch him right in the face. And so, once again, Chaos are gonna do a great job of clearing out their back line, allowing Lake Gang to come to them, and getting a manpower lead. It's still a minute on the board. Coda gonna be all by his lonesome butt. I've seen crazy things be done with the MP9. Great angling there from Jamo. He's gonna force Coda out of the position. Again, these guys have been so good with their nade throws. They're gonna be all over Coda. Kino does flash out his own teammate, but hits Coda even harder. So, yeah, it's gonna be around that is looking very nicely for the taking for Chaos. Haven't lost a single person yet. Expertly executed once again. Lucian finding another flank on the, their backs, and Chaos are going to be ending that half 13 to 2 up. Literally going for an interesting play in the middle of the map here, Chaos. Expecting their opponents to go through the middle of the map, but they're actually not. Lake Gang, on the other hand, they're going to be going around in for A. And so, hearing these util throws, it appears that Chaos is going to be re rotating. They're not too far away being in that middle of the map formation that I saw them at in Lucian. Is going to get smoked off his angle, so does have to get a little bit closer. No Molly for the close angle, but... Ooh, solid nade coming in once again from Chaos. It's going to be... It's been definitely a little bit of a util death for Chaos. Whether it be from damaging, forcing people off of angles, just... It's just been a lot better from Chaos tonight, I do have to say. Although, it's not going to be easy from the break this. They do still have Wildflower with the flash. We're going to see if he can make the most out of it. His teammate is going to be dying. Twigs does find another one. Oh my god, they're mowing him down like crazy. JMO, still a survivor and can't quite get it done. So close to seeing this guy. Literally so close. And now he will, unfortunately, won't be able to get the kill on him just yet before his teammate dies, but it does eventually get the trade out. Lucian's still here. Trying to flash himself in crazy, but unfortunately, Lucian overruns it. And so, this might be where Chaos starts to put this game to bed. All that's left is going to be Ice and Twigs. So got your opera alive, trying to get yourself into a better angle. Dropping the op for the time being because you got some close quarters angles to take. Forcing Lucian out of the good position. But Ice getting caught out, unfortunately. And Twigs falls very shortly after. Just as good of a chance of winning, excuse me. Wildflower getting really aggro. And there you go, Coda. 
Wildflower gonna be mollied off the rotation, but on the rotation as well is gonna be purple. Ice does have the bomb though, and he will be able to get this bomb plant down. With the knowledge that there is a person at their back, they're gonna be able to retreat to the ramp heady and hold things down from the middle here once again. Chaos though. It can't be feeling good to give up all these rounds, and I'm sure at some point they're probably gonna be thinking, you know what? Maybe we just try it. Maybe we just go all in. Maybe we do it, even though it might be a better idea to save. The game's escaping us. We can't be letting this happen. Going for a hot defuse here is going to be JMO getting tagged up immensely. And he's going to stick it, ladies and gentlemen. Sticking it through the fire and the flames. Literally dying at the end there from Ice's flame grenade. But still, huge round from Chaos Ice with a big opportunity here. Game on the line. Can he catch this flanking player? No, we can't. And so, just like that, Zen Lover falls as well. Domino's domino effect going on here for Lake Gang. As they're desperately trying to find a kill here on Akino coming through the smoke. On the other end, though, his death in the form of Kino takes down one, and all that's left is the Opper with the dream of getting the ace. Does get at least one, but Nate is going to be hitting Solid Scope coming in as well. So, with the hopes and dreams of his team on his shoulders, can Twigs get it done? Oh my god, another quick scope. He's desperately trying to run away. He knows he's getting chased here. Heroics at the last bit here from Twigs. T fate of his team on his shoulders. Turns the corner, finds another one, but can't get the ace. JMO just perfectly around the corner.